Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, those tuning in through online affiliates around the world, including our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, this is exciting times, especially for those who are fans of chess. We know that the U.S. and U.S. Women's Chess Championship have begun now, and this is something that's gotten a lot of attention. In fact, chess... I can remember even going back to high school. I was a popular thing, but especially now that we're all spending a lot more time together, people have taken up not only the game of chess, but also enjoyed shows like The Queen's Gambit on Netflix and being able to see how it is a favorite pastime. We're here to talk to us about this year's championship and his own experience. We have a very special guest joining us today. Boris Ashley is with us. He is not only an individual that's recognized as a U.S. Chess Hall of Famer, but also a grandmaster commentator. I want to talk to him not only about his own love of chess, but also what it's been like for him to see the popularity and also what he's looking forward to this year with the championships. Maurice, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate this. Thanks for having me, Cyrus. Well, this was a lot of fun to be able to prep, um, to, to be able to see not only, of course, your own journey, uh, Maurice, but also, of course, what you've been able to do for the game of chess yourself. I, I mentioned, though, in my intro, of course, people, especially because of the, the show on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit, as well as, of course, just spending more time at home. Chess has now become a lot more popular. Uh, what have you seen about this time that we're living in, Maurice, and the impact it's had on chess in the U.S.? Well, I've been involved in chess for about four decades now, uh, ever since Mm. high school myself, and I've never seen anything like this. The amount of popularity the game has seen, as you mentioned, COVID definitely brought us together inside. People were looking for something constructive for themselves to do and their kids as well, and naturally they gravitated towards a game like chess that could help develop the mind and keep you sharp. But then... The Queen's Gambit, that Netflix series, just came out of nowhere and was so amazing, so fun, so dramatic and engaging that it caused a boom on chess websites everywhere. We've seen not just a doubling but a tripling of memberships on websites right now. Chess is is going through an incredible renaissance that I haven't seen in my lifetime. Wow, that is incredible, tripling. I mean, and it really just shows, again, I mean, for one, people are always looking for something productive to do, but also, as you said, I mean, because of the times we're living in, the popularity of it. So I want to talk about, again, your own experience. As I, as I introduced you, you're not only a U.S. Chess Hall of Famer, but a Grandmaster commentator as well. Uh, talk to us about that experience for you. What was it like for you to be inducted into um, the World Hall of Fame class? Well, I was inducted to the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame back in 2016. Uh, it was really a culmination of a dream come true. I wanted to be a chess player ever since I was a 14-year-old back in Brooklyn, New York, playing chess at, in high school at Brooklyn Technical High School, my alma mater, and, and certainly uh, playing chess in the park where the hustlers would trash talk you and, and blow smoke in your face and take your money. Uh, to have come <laughs> from that journey and to make to made it in the cutthroat, rough and tumble world of professional chess and to then become a commentator for the sport, being able to watch all the great ones who've come up since uh, and then get into the Hall of Fame. I mean, that's, that's a dream come true. I just can't believe it's happened. It's been a fairy tale career. Yeah, and Morris, I know that people have been excited to be able to enjoy this experience with you. So what about for this year? What can you tell us about those getting inducted into the 2020-2021 class? Well, we have great headliners right now. First of all, the Beth Harmon of chess, the real Beth Harmon, Judith Polgar, the number one female player in history. She broke Bobby Fischer's record of the youngest grandmaster in history back in the day, and she has gone on to have an absolutely spectacular career. She is so well-deserving of getting this award. It's an honor to, to see her join the class as well. And we've got to talk about the Singfield family, Dr. Jean Karen mm-hmm. Singfield and her husband Rex Singfield. They poured in literally millions of dollars into making the U.S. the powerhouse of the world 
uh, on the world stage. The U.S. has even won a chess Olympics uh, thanks to the amount of strength, the, the strong players who have been playing in the U.S. now. And it's thanks to them over the last 15 years of really dedicating, focusing, making sure bringing the teams together to be able to promote chess and build chess here in St. Louis that chess has taken off, skyrocketed in the United States. So they are well-deserving of their Hall of Fame induction. Maurice, I want to talk about the Sinkfields for a moment. When I was prepping for this segment, one of the things I got a chance to watch is an honor you had in April 2018 to interview uh, Gene Sinkfield. I saw that interview for the 2018 U.S. Chess Championships. Uh, what was that experience like for you, and, and what has it been like for you to see the impact they've been able to have on the game? Well, I've been around them now as a commentator in St. Louis, calling all the top tournaments uh, for the last 10, 12 years. So I call them friends. Uh, They are great people. They're down-to-earth people. They want to see chess change lives. Uh, Dr. Jeannie Singfield, she's been instrumental in bringing chess to the Boy Scouts of America. There's now a chess merit badge. Imagine that uh, for for the scouts. And to see how dedicated they are to chess is remarkable. We, we have been blessed, frankly, having such great benefactors. Uh, they've turned around lives of players, commentators, uh, broad, broadcast professionals, you name it, as well as kids, uh, certainly in the St. Louis area, over 100 schools, thousands and thousands of kids have been impacted by the benefits of the game. And it's really thanks to their leadership that it's um, Maurice, in the beginning of this conversation, you said that chess has been a, a part of your life for decades. Uh, what are some tips you have for families out there, especially with children, uh, who might want to try chess? Back in the day, I would have sent them to a chess book. But nowadays, <laughs> everybody learns digitally. Everyone goes online. You can go to the St. Louis Chess Club dot org site to see tons of videos. They have on their YouTube page explaining chess, breaking things down. Uh, there are a lot of great websites out there, but I'd also say apps. No question about it. Kids learn with apps, and uh, I have an app out there now. Uh, you just look up my name, Maurice Ashley. You'll see an app. You might get trash talk while you're trying to learn, so be careful. But there are lots of other apps out there as well that you can download and learn chess in a kid-friendly way. Certainly, that's how kids learn today. That's where I send parents. All right. Again, everyone, Maurice Ashley has been our guest, U.S. Chess Hall of Famer and Grandmaster Commentator, talking with us not only about uh, this year's uh, championships, but also those being inducted into the World Hall of Fame. If you guys would like to watch the tournaments online, you can do it at uschesschamps.com. Again, that's uschesschamps.com. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out. You can also see it at the St. Louis Chess Club's YouTube and Twitch TV channels as well. Maurice, it really was an honor to have you on the program. I appreciate the time and looking forward to having you back on the show again. Thank you, Cyrus. We'd love to be back. All right. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now, this is going to make today amazing. Take care.